Most people don't realize how long electric cars can really last. Most EVs lose range and battery health long before 150,000 miles. But you probably didn't know that with good care, your EV can run well past 500,000 miles. So today, we'll share with you 15 proven habits backed by real-world data and based on current knowledge. You'd want to stick around until the end because if you want to save thousands and increase the lifespan of your electric car. Starting with habit number 15, avoid daily fast charging. One of the sneakiest habits that slowly wears down your EV's battery is using DC fast chargers all the time. Now don't get us wrong, they're very handy. For example, on a road trip, you can grab a coffee, stretch your legs and come back to a car that's added hundreds of miles in just half an hour. That's a lifesaver when you're traveling. But here's the hidden problem you don't notice. Every time you fast charge, the battery gets hit with a lot of energy in a short time. This creates heat and can lead to something engineers call lithium plating. Over time, this buildup makes the battery less healthy and reduces how much charge it can hold. But the good news is that you don't need fast charging for everyday life. For most people, plugging into a level 2 charger at home overnight is more than enough. It's gentler on the battery and keeps things a lot cooler. So, save level 3 fast charging for long trips. For daily driving, slow and steady really does win the race. Habit number 14. Keep the state of charge between 20 to 80 percent. Next is a simple but powerful rule that can add years to your EV's battery life. Avoid pushing the battery to its extremes. Batteries don't like spending too much time at either 0 or 100 percent. Think of it like us humans. Too little food and we starve. Too much and we feel uncomfortable. EV batteries feel that same stress. When you charge to 100% every single day, the battery cells are under constant electrical pressure. Over time, that pressure weakens them. On the other hand, letting your car dip down close to 0% is just as harmful. That's why most automakers, including Tesla, Hyundai, and Volkswagen, recommend keeping your daily charge between 20 and 80% for daily errands and commutes. That range is plenty. Save the full 100% charge for those long trips where you really need the extra miles. It might feel strange not to fill up all the way, especially if you grew up with gas cars, but trust us, your battery will thank you by lasting much longer. If your EV has an LFP or lithium iron phosphate battery, this advice changes slightly. LFP packs are much more comfortable living at higher states of charge, and in fact, automakers like Tesla recommend charging them to 100% regularly to keep the range meter accurate. So the 20 to 80% rule is best for most EV batteries, but LFP owners should follow their manufacturer's guidance, which usually encourages full charging more often. Habit number 13. Use battery preconditioning in extreme weather. This has a lot to do with finding the perfect weather for your battery. Now, we don't mean only running your EV in certain weathers. We mean that batteries are a lot like people. They don't perform well when they're too cold or too hot. When it's freezing outside, the battery's chemistry slows down, and if you charge in that state, you risk something called lithium plating, which basically is little bits of lithium sticking to places they shouldn't. Meanwhile, extreme heat makes the battery age faster, like leaving milk on the counter. That's where preconditioning comes in. It simply means warming up or cooling down the battery before you drive or charge it. It's actually great that many EVs can do this automatically if you set a departure time or navigate to a fast charger. It gets the pack into the Goldilocks zone, which is not too hot, not too cold, it's just right. So make it a habit to use preconditioning when the weather is brutal. From super cold mornings to scorching summer afternoons before charging, but don't bother on mild days. You get to just go without preconditioning on such days. Habit number 12. Drive gently until the battery warms up. Now, old gas cars have taught us a lesson. Don't rev the engine hard right after turning the key on a cold morning. The oil needs time to flow. And guess what? EVs are just the same when it comes to this habit, even though there's no engine. The battery pack and drivetrain also prefer a gentle start when they're cold. If you floor it the second you leave your driveway in winter, the cold packs has to work extra hard. That extra strain affects how well your battery works in the long run and creates stress inside the battery cells. Instead, give your car a few minutes of normal light driving. As the battery warms up naturally, everything runs smoother and you get better range for the day. 
You don't need to move at 10 miles an hour, but just try to avoid blasting full power until things settle in. It's actually quite funny that most drivers don't even notice the difference unless they're deliberately pushing it. Driving easy at the start is one of those tiny unnoticeable habits that add up big time over years. Habit number 11. Don't store your EV fully charged. You might be guilty of this, but one mistake a lot of new EV owners make is that they charge the car to 100% and let it sit for days, thinking, well, now I'm ready for anything. Bad idea. Leaving your EV parked at full charge is one of the fastest ways to wear down the battery. Why? Well, because high voltage puts the cells under constant stress. It's pretty much like inflating a balloon to its maximum size and then just leaving it stretched out. Eventually, it's going to weaken. Your EV's battery feels the same kind of pressure when it sits at 100% for too long. If you're leaving town for a week or you just don't drive much, the best practice is to keep your state of charge around 50 to 60%. That's the relax zone for a battery. So the rule of thumb is to charge full for long trips half charge for storage. It's easy, simple, and it can save you years of battery health. Habit number 10. Minimize weight and roof loads. Another very common thing that drains your EV range faster than you'd expect is extra weight. You see, every 100 pounds you carry cuts into efficiency, and over time, it even wears out suspension parts and tires sooner. It's kind of like carrying a heavy backpack every single day. It doesn't bother you much at first, but after a few months, your shoulders and back start to wake. Your EV feels the same too. Roof racks and cargo boxes are a very silent culprit. At highway speeds, a roof box can slash efficiency by up to 20%. That means fewer miles per charge, more charging stops, and more cycles on your battery. The habit you need to have instead is to keep only what you need in the car. If that old set of golf clubs or toolkit hasn't been touched in months, it's probably better stored in the garage. And when you're done with a roof rack or cargo box after a trip, take it off. Habit number 9 check and replace tires early moving on here's something most new ev owners learn the hard way electric cars wear out tires faster than gas cars that instant torque feels amazing when you press the pedal but it also eats through tread at a much quicker pace worn tires don't only reduce efficiency they also make your car more dangerous in wet or slick conditions. For EVs, keeping an eye on your tires is honestly a non-negotiable. Rotate them every 6 to 8,000 miles, and if your alignment feels off, maybe the steering pulls or the ride feels rough, then don't wait. Poor alignment makes tires wear unevenly, which just shortens their lifespan and costs you more in the long run. EV-rated tires are another very smart move. They're built stronger to handle the extra weight of the battery and the harder pushes from acceleration. They might cost more upfront, but they last longer and keep your range more consistent. Habit number 8. Keep regenerative braking balanced. Instead of wasting energy when you slow down, your car feeds some of it back into the battery. It saves wear on your brake pads too, but the parts most people don't realize is that relying only on maximum regen all the time isn't always the best habit. When you push regen too hard in certain conditions, the battery can heat up unnecessarily. That's just extra stress, especially on long downhill drives or stop and go traffic, so the trick is balance. Mix in coasting and gentle braking with your regen. Remember to the car glide when you can, instead of always dragging it down with high regen settings. You'll still save energy without overworking the system. It's basically similar to how you use brakes in a gas car. You wouldn't slam them at every stop if you didn't need to. Gentle, smooth driving goes easier on the brakes. And for EVs, smoother regen habits go easier on the battery too. Habit number 7. Replace cabin and cooling system filters. Your EV has filters that keep air clean inside the cabin and help protect the cooling system that manages the battery and electronics. When those filters get clogged with dust, dirt, or pollen, the fans and pumps have to work harder. That means more energy use and more wear on the parts. Remember the clogged air filter you've got at home? The furnace or AC has to run longer and harder, which stacks up bills and shortens its lifespan. Same point here, only now it's your car paying the price. 
Most automakers recommend swapping out cabin and cooling system filters every two years, but if you live in dusty or smoky areas, sooner is better. It's an affordable bit of maintenance that saves you from bigger headaches later, like an overworked HVAC or a stressed battery cooling system. So make a note on your calendar or check the filters when you rotate your tires. Fresh filters keep your car breathing easy, keep you breathing clean, and prevent strain on systems that protect your battery. Habit number 6. Flush Battery Coolant on Schedule just like the radiator fluid in a gas car, EVs like Tesla, Hyundai, and GM models use coolant loops to keep the battery, motors, and inverters at a safe temperature. Now, here's why that matters. Over time, coolant breaks down. It loses its ability to carry heat properly and can even start corroding the inside of the cooling system. That's when you see overheating issues, reduced range, or worst of all, damage to the battery pack. The good news, though, is that you don't need to do it often. Most manufacturers Manufacturers recommend a flush every five to seven years. The cost of a coolant service is really a drop in the bucket compared to replacing a damaged battery. A few hundred dollars now saves you from a $10,000 plus repair later. So put a reminder on your calendar or service log. A quick coolant flush is one of the easiest long-term insurance policies for your EV. Habit number 5. Monitor Tire Pressure Monthly Even being just a few pounds under can reduce your range, wear out tires faster, and make your EV motors work harder than they should. That extra drag is just like trying to ride a bike with flat tires. It takes more effort for less distance. Now, you might think the same system has you covered, but those kind of systems aren't always precise. They usually only alert you when pressure is way off. By then, you've already been burning through extra energy for weeks. So the smarter habit is to check manually once a month. A cheap handheld gauge will do the trick and it only takes two minutes. Keeping tires at the proper PSI not only gives you back miles of range but also makes the ride smoother and safer. So don't wait for the dashboard warning. Make tire pressure checks part of your routine. It's cheap, easy, and keeps your EV driving at its best. Habit number four, protect charging ports from dirt and corrosion. Moving on, have you noticed that your EV's charging port is basically its fuel tank opening? Just like you wouldn't want dirt or water in your gas tank, you don't want it in your charging connection. Moisture, dust, or corrosion in the port can cause poor connections, slower charging speeds, or even short circuits over time. It happens more often than you think. Maybe you park outside under trees, or maybe your driveway splashes up road salt in winter. Even small bits of debris can wear out the connection points faster, making every charge charging session a little less reliable. The fix is really easy. Always use a dust cap or port cover when the car isn't charging. Once in a while, inspect the ports visually. If you see dirt or buildup, use a clean, dry cloth or a small air duster, never liquids, to keep it clean. Think of it like keeping your glasses clean. You don't notice how bad they are until you wipe them, and suddenly, everything works better. Same with charging ports. Clean connections keep electricity flowing smoothly, protect your investment, and help your car charge like new for years to come. Quick one, if these real-world habits are helping you get the most out of your EV, then hit subscribe and like this video. The last three habits are the ones most EV owners miss for driving past 500,000 miles. Habit number three, keep the 12-volt battery healthy. This actually surprises almost every new EV owner. Your car still has a regular 12-volt battery, just like the ones in gas cars. That small battery runs the computer systems, door locks, lights, and safety features. The big high-voltage battery can't even wake the car up without it. If that little 12-volt goes bad, your EV is dead in the driveway. You might have a 100-kilowatt battery sitting under you, but it won't matter. The car won't even turn on. So make it a habit not to wait until it fails. Replace your 12-volt battery every 4 to 5 years preventively, just like you'd replace a smoke alarm battery. Some automakers have reminders, but most don't. And here's something you'd want to keep in mind. A new 12-volt only costs around $150, compared to thousands if you end up stranded and need a tow. So if you want your EV to always start reliably, Treat that little battery with respect. A weak 12 volt can completely half your range, but a healthy one keeps everything running smoothly. Habit number two, rinse the undercarriage in winter. Road salt is one of the biggest enemies of cars, gas, or electric. In winter, that salty stuff doesn't just sit on the surface. It gets thrown up underneath, where it sticks to suspension parts. 
brake lines, and even the bottom of the battery casing. As you'd expect, over time, it eats away at the metal. Now the danger here isn't just that the rusted metal won't look good. Corroded brake lines can also mean dangerous leaks, while rust on battery casings can become an expensive nightmare. So here's what you'll do. Get an underbody wash once a month during salt season. Many car washes offer this as an option, and it only takes a couple of minutes. If you have a hose at home, even a quick rinse helps. A little water in the winter goes a long way toward keeping your EV's expensive parts safe from hidden damage. Finally, habit number one, always use your parking brake. Finally, one that costs nothing but saves wear on your EV's drivetrain, always set the parking brake. Most people assume EVs are different from gas cars, but they still use a device called a parking pole inside the transmission. That little metal piece holds the whole car in place when you put it in park. If you park on a hill and only use the transmission, all the stress lands on that pole. Soon enough, something will eventually give out, and you'll end up with a nasty clunk, costly repairs, or even a roll-away accident. By using the parking brake every time, you take the load off the transmission and put it where it belongs, on the brake system, which is designed to hold the weight. It's also a whole lot safer. Just imagine parking on a sloped driveway, walking away, and hearing the car creak forward because the pile slipped. Using the brake prevents that scary surprise, so treat it like buckling your seatbelt. Make it automatic. Two seconds to press a button or pull a lever can add years of life to your drivetrain and peace of mind every time you walk away. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.